Okay. Uh, there's nothing which says you have to use only one weaving pass during the Native American, North American Indian tradition. For example, suppose I were to do the first weave of the Inuit net, and then the second weave, but then now I'm going to drop my little finger and roll the index over so that I, that's what I call a continuation move, and you can see that I have some interesting information in the center of the figure that I can ignore and think only of doing the Inuit net again from the beginning. So let's do that. Inuit net from the beginning, and this time I'm going to complete the figure. And I get that figure if I wish to lift it out. Now, you might pause for a second and think, well, what happens if I first untangle my string patiently, which one must be when doing string figures. Again, set up your loom. This is the LDNA loom, which I tend to favor. And I'm going to do the first one, two weaves, and roll over. And there is that complexity in the center. But instead of doing the second Inuit net, from this position, I'm going to roll the entire figure. In, index goes plus one to the middle. Little finger goes minus one to the thumb. Push the index and roll the index. And there I have the backside of the figure, if you will. And now I'm going to do the Inuit net again from the beginning to see if there is any consequential difference in doing the Inuit net twice. And ah, yes, and look at that. That is, I think, a much more pleasing figure. So sometimes when you are introducing complexity in terms of weave after weave, you can think about rolling the figure completely over and attacking from the backside, so to speak, whenever you do the next complicated thing that you're trying to do. This is the Inuit net, first two moves, then the continuation move, and then rolling the figure completely over, and then doing the Inuit net from the beginning.